Okay, so we have uh, two coil here, primary coil and secondary coil. Primary coil and secondary coil. So this is a uh, coil one. This is a uh, coil two. Okay, uh, and then I given the coil one. Coil one. Uh, sorry, coil one. It has length fifty cm and diameter three cm. Thousand turns. Okay, so this is a uh, L one length one. This is diameter diameter one, and this is N one. Okay, and then the coil secondary coil has a uh, fifty turns. Sorry, sorry. Coil um, secondary coil has fifty turns. So this is a uh, N two. Okay. So find the mutual inductance, uh, mutual inductance. So this is uh, he want to find the mutual inductance M, big M. Okay. Now and then the second question B he asked for the induced EMF. Uh, the e the sorry. He asked for the induced EMF in secondary coil. Oh, so he asked for uh, E two. He asked for E two. If the current flowing in primary coil, primary coil, changing at the rate of four point eight ampere per second, so primary, so this is the rate of change of current in coil one. So this is the di over dt one. Okay. Uh, so he asks. So this question asks for. Uh, he asks for the mutual inductance. Mutual inductance and also the E two, uh, uh, the EMF generated in coil two because the current is changing in coil one. Okay. All right. So uh, the information already separated into two columns, one for coil one, one for coil two. Always, uh, if you have two different uh, object, you uh, gather them into two columns. This will uh, make you easier to find your information. Okay, coil one, coil two. Uh, coil one, the length, the diameter, turns all here, and coil two, the turns here. Okay, and then remember, centimeter always change to meter. Centimeter change to meter. SI unit, yeah. Remember, always use SI unit. Now, the first question asks for mutual induction. Okay, mutual mutual inductance. So based on the information, we can use the formula. Um, mutual inductance should be equal to uh, mu naught n one n two a over l. Uh, but we have diameter. We don't have area. So we need to find area first. Okay, find area. Uh, so uh, maybe I can write here. So this one. Okay, we have diameter. So area is area one is uh, just use the formula pi d squared over four, pi d squared over four, and substitute the yeah uh, this is diameter one. So substitute the value of zero point zero three meter. We will get answer uh, seven point zero six nine. Exponent negative four meter square. Ah, uh, this is the area for uh, coil one, the primary coil. Next, substitute all the information here. Uh, this is area one. This is length one. Yeah, area one, length one. So uh, mu naught is four pi exponent negative seven. N one is thousand turns. N two is fifty turns. Area one is seven point zero six nine exponent negative four. Divide by the length zero point five meter. Yeah, in SI unit. So finally, we will get the mutual induction value, which is equal to uh, which is equal to eight point eight eight three. Exponent negative five, Henry. Uh, mutual induction and the self induction, mutual inductance and self inductance, they have the same. They have the same unit. Yeah, mutual inductance or or self inductance, they have the same unit, which is the Henry. Okay. Ah, uh, now question B asks for 
the EMF generated in secondary coil E2 when the when there is a rate of change of current in coil 1. Uh, so given the rate of change of current in coil 1 induces EMF in coil 2. So he asked to find the E2. So we, this mutual induction we really got the value. Yeah, we got we got the mutual induction inductance. So we can easily find E2. So use the formula E2 equal to negative M uh, mutual inductance uh, DI over DT in coil 1. EMF is generated in coil 2 because the current is changing in coil 1. Ah. So uh, just uh, substitute the value. M is uh, 8.8. 8 Eight three exponent negative five, and then uh, the I O D T four point eight uh, is equal to is equal to negative uh, four point two six four exponent negative four. Okay, uh, the negative is just the direction. Yeah, it doesn't really mean anything. Uh, so, your if your answer final answer got negative, or if you have uh, you don't have negative, also never mind. Yeah, the negative is not very important here. Uh, not very important. You, we only look at the magnitude. What important is only the value. The negative sign is not very important. Okay. Uh, so that's the answer. E two.